Hey guys, Dusty here with eMove Rest. I wanted to sit down today and do a quick three to five minute video on foam rolling, something I do pretty much every day. Um, I've stretched and done physical therapy since I was a kid. I was born with a leg length discrepancy that just caused me some issues when I was little and I had to stretch constantly. And it's something I continue to do every day after a run, after a workout. Um, sometimes even when I don't work out, I take 5-10 minutes every evening to stretch and the foam roller has changed my life. So I want to show you guys that now. So I usually start by warming up my legs. If they're not warm already from a workout or a run or something, I tend to jog in place or do a few jumping jacks just to get those muscles warm and loosen up. And then I'll start with just some regular leg stretching. I also like to stretch out my back, do a little side to side, some twisting, lay out straight, and just get the whole body loosened up if I can. So the point of foam rolling and stretching in general is to achieve myofascial release. And that's basically just a fancy way of saying self-massage. <laughs> It really does help though to break up that scar tissue and loosen up those sore tight muscles that we all have. So now that you're warmed up and stretched out just a little bit, go ahead and grab your foam roller and let's get into it. I like to start with my hamstrings. As you can see, the moves are pretty basic. It's really just using your own body weight against the foam roller, moving back and forth to just roll those muscles out. I like to cross one leg over the other just to add a little intensity, put more weight on that hamstring and just roll it out that much harder. Next up is the IT band killer. Don't be afraid of this one. It's probably the best one for you because you need it the most. So roll over to your side and stretch those IT bands out. Don't be afraid to put your opposite leg down when stretching the IT bands out for a little support, especially when you're getting started. If you put all your body weight on that IT band, you're almost not going to be able to do it. It's super hard and super painful, but if you can, just work on it. You'll get more flexible. You'll start to feel better. It'll be great. And I kind of work on my quads as I transition from IT band to IT band. And those are pretty simple. They also feel great. Just roll out on your stomach on those quads, push down, you'll get a great result. Next up are the glutes. This one also feels amazing, especially after you've done squats or any other leg workout. Again, pretty self-explanatory. Just Apply as much body weight as you feel comfortable and roll back and forth. You can also do kind of a circular motion on your glutes. So feel free to spend as much time on each of these as you want. I mean, I sometimes it takes me five minutes to do all, my whole body and sometimes I'm in there for a half an hour. So it's kind of up to you. So now I kind of move down to the calves and it's harder to add as much pressure because your body weight is going to be above your glutes so I for sure cross my legs and press down onto my calves as hard as I can and while I move forward and back I also go side to side and really break up those calf muscles and again just remember to go at your own pace for this video I kind of sped through it but sometimes the slower the better and I often just will pause if I find a knot or a tight spot I'll just pause and hold my body weight on that and do some breathing and, and imagine that knot kind of going away so now I move on to my back and this one's kind of optional especially because a lot of people have sensitive or sore backs so I would proceed with caution on this one especially you know if you're seeing a chiropractor maybe mention it to him and see what he says but I feel like I've got a pretty healthy strong back and it feels good to uh, roll mine out so so now comes the super awkward move if they haven't been awkward enough for you already 
is the chest, especially after a long uh, chest workout, a bunch of push-ups. This one feels super good and I actually see results. If I work my chest without stretching, I, I tend to be sore longer and I see less uh, results. So I, I always get down and do this awkward chest stretch like almost no matter what. And finally, I just like to stretch out my back a little bit again and also my arms. It seems silly, but the forearms rarely get a, a decent massage or a good stretch. And this one feels good too. Um, and then of course the triceps. I just throw an elbow over my head and, and stretch those out too. So yeah, like I said, I kind of ran through this all pretty quick but I just wanted to give you guys a quick preview of how to actually just get started with the foam roller. Um, I do it almost daily and I've seen huge results. Um, my flexibility has improved, my stress has gone down, um, and my workouts actually have improved too. So anyway, feel free to ask questions or hop online, do a Google search for about 100 more stretches that you can do. Guys, hope you enjoyed this short video. Again, stretching is so important. They say a lot of anxiety, tension, lactic acid buildup, all these things occur through daily life, through exercise. It's good to stretch. It's so important. Make it a daily habit. Do it every day for the rest of your life if you can. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, share it with your friends and family. Uh, visit the blog at eatmoverest.com and keep in touch.